Hey guys, this is Ray and Marlon with Easy Photo Booth. Right here, we're showing everything that comes on a standalone package, um, except for the stand in a backdrop, which is pretty common and pretty simple. So we can show you that later. But for now, this is what you're looking at. You're looking at the photo booth shell empty, and uh, you're looking at uh, the equipments. We took out, uh, we took the liberty of taking out the printer out of the box and uh, the printer uh, media kit. Mm -hmm. This is basically what you're looking at. You got the printer, the media kit. Uh, the two guides for the printer, um, you'll see all of this in the box when, when the printer comes flash. in. You got the flash with the synchronized cord. Um, you got the shuttle all-in-one computer which is built here at the, our facility. Um, you got the Canon. Uh, it comes adapter. with a power adapter and the hot shoe. So uh, this is pretty much the shelf empty, what you're looking at. You got the shelving for everything. You got the uh, you got the flash ready, uh, camera ready, shelves, the computer ready. Got this little nice flap to hold everything in secure. Uh, we've already put the power strips in there so that you can see exactly how it's going to be uh, set up. And then the printer, in the bottom portion is where the printer sits. We got two doors on each side just in case, you know, you got, uh, you know, stick into those little tiny rooms where the door is facing the printer uh, output. You don't have to flip the whole entire photo booth uh, on the other side. You can just uh, open the back door of the printer uh, on the bottom portion of it and then just kind of twist your printer the other way around. As you can see, we left a little room underneath. You could put your bags in there, your media kits, just uh, extra per you know, peripherals or accessories. It's always good to have something extra. But anyways, going back to what we were talking about, this is all the equipment that you're going to be needing to install everything. Um, this video is basically to show you how to install everything into your all-in-one computer. And the hot shoe is right there. This is how it looks. This is basically what connects to your camera, okay? On top of it, it connects there. In order for this hot shoe to communicate with the flash, you're going to need this along with the synchronized cord. The synchronized cord kind of attaches in here and then it goes there. The biggest problem that people have with this hot shoe is they forget that the cord is loose and then they'll say, oh, you know what, my uh, flash is not working. But uh, remember, troubleshooting as a tech is always check the, if the cord is all connected properly. So that's always generally the first rule. So make sure that that's what you do before you call us and let us know that the equipment is not working. Um, you got the shuttle computer, which is uh, it's, it's, uh, built here. Yours truly at Easy Photo Booth. Uh, it's got uh, four, gig. four gigabytes hard drive. of hard drive of RAM. Of RAM. And 320 of our hard drive. 320 gigabytes of hard drives. So you could store a lot of pictures in there and videos before you can clean them out. And then uh, as far as the RAM, Windows, um, Windows 7 base. It's Windows 7 base. You're not stuck with Windows 8. And uh, it's perfect for photo booth. If uh, you want to do a video booth, it's perfect in there too. Um, we're using Breeze software, so the beauty about that is everything is kind of embedded inside. What comes with this uh, computer, it already comes with a power adapter. Um, let me see. Let me show you how many USB that thing has. My good man, can you... Uh... Okay, this computer, this particular computer has two... USB on the upper left. USB on the upper left and another two on the, up, on the right side with the power. Uh, it also has external. your extra external VGA, just in case you want to do an ex external output for the uh, for the slideshow. And then uh, just in card. case you want to put a, use an SD card to save your pictures, you can also do that. And what you got here is your speakers and your you know your standard uh, microphone. And uh, the features for the flash, what we have in here is uh, it's the flash. It's the 180 strobe. watts. It's 180 watts. It's got uh, controllable, uh, what do you call these? Speed light. Speed light. You, know, you got your power button, your test. This is always good to test to make sure that your flash is working and you haven't blown the fuse. Um, you do have the lights in here, signals. It'll tell you whether it's good or not. This is where your synchronized cord goes, right here, okay? Once you install it, this synchronized cord uh, goes through, you know, go, it gets plugged in here and it attaches to your hot shoe which is attached to your camera, which, you know, it, it, it's kind of a signal, it's kind of a language which tell your uh, flash to fire every time somebody touches the, uh, the start button on your uh, computer. So that's uh, generally what happens. 
And then uh, the features for the printer. What we're using in here is a DNP RX1. The MPRX1 is probably one of the best printers that you'll ever have as a photo booth user. There are two uh, printers that we prefer, which is the High Tie and the DNP. But if you were to ask me what kind of printer I like, personally, I like the DNP for a, you know a few reasons. One of those reasons is because it's a bigger roll. So, as you can see, this roll is a lot bigger than the High Tie. This consists of about 700 to 4 by 6 prints, or 1400 to 2x6, whereas uh, the High Tie is half uh, as, as uh, it's only half of that. But um, if you ask me in terms of quality, I personally believe that the high tie is a little bit more, you know, has more quality than the, than the DNP only because it's thicker uh, in, in printouts. But uh, then again, you know, there's always a draw, you know, the drawback, you know, there's pros and cons. Um, what I like about the, the you know, the DNP is, because, you know, you can load in 700 prints without having to uh, change the paper right away. Uh, it comes with a uh, ribbon and, and uh, um, you know, it's, that also consists of 700 prints. Continue to talk while he's doing it. What he's doing right now is he's taking out the... He's, he's going to be opening everything right now. So obviously everything's fresh so you can see it. We got this protection. That's the protection right there. Okay. <clears throat> So when you're loading your paper, make sure it's flat on the ground, okay? Make sure everything is, there you go, that's, that's perfect. That's the way to do it. This setup is very, very easy. So you, you'll, you'll notice that, uh, okay, you see that arrow right there? It's pointing at you. Make sure it's pointing at you. That's it. Now you gotta take out that arrow later on and, and slide it in, mm -hmm. which, is what I'm about to do now. which is what he's doing now. There's he's gonna, an arrow here if you want to show. Let me there. zoom in a little bit here. There's an arrow pointing. There's an arrow pointing right there. It, it goes in between this roller, silver roller. Okay, it's mm -hmm. going in between that. Now he's just and giving it a little push, just enough. Can you see that? That's going in there just a little bit. Okay, now. now he's gonna go ahead and unwrap the media kit. Now the media kit is pretty self-explanatory. I mean, I'm colorblind and I can still determine which way is which. First I start with this. Starts with that. Like a puzzle just clicks in there. Grabs this. Slides in there. There's an arrow right here. You see that arrow right there? That arrow tells you that way to rotate it. which way to rotate it. So you're rotating it that way. And then maybe have one turn. Okay. Then we'll close it. Now he's closing it. You're done. Okay. Now you're done setting up the printer. I'm ready to put it in. Oh, you know what? Let me start with the cord. Now he's opening the cord. Before I put it in there. Or we can install it right now. All right. So, grab it. Make sure this thing facing me. Okay. He's just basically just putting it in. It's like there's a two strap. There's two straps built into your photo boot shells, which he's grabbing right now. He's gonna go swing it over the top of the printer. He's pulling one. And then the second one right there. This strap is good for moving. So when you're ready to uh, load out, you gotta strap it in. You don't have to leave it strapped when you're doing the event. In fact, you may want to uh, loosen it up and not uh, have it strapped when you're doing an event so that you're free to do whatever you want in terms of you can put the, the printer uh, slide closer to the door or you know uh, further out, but that's your option. So you do have two doors like I mentioned earlier on the shell. Right now he's gonna be plugging in the power, the power cord. Now there's only two, actually, actually there should be only three cord that goes up. That's the power cord for the printer and the USB for that printer. 
and the extension cord, of course. Okay. That's it for the printer for now. There's supposed to be a. There's supposed to be a USB printer that is connected there, but unfortunately, we did not. It did not include it in the box of the DNP. Go figure. I, I'm not sure why they don't include the, the printer cable. But every now and then, if you get lucky, they will include it. So, let's see. Let's see. Maybe it is included. We just uh, missed it. No, it's not. But we will look for one, so not to worry. We'll show you how everything works uh, once everything is all said and done. We'll go through the process of testing it so you could see our templates that we embed into the computer. How uh, pretty much how simple everything is when everything is all said and done. You want to skip that for now? Or? But we will skip that for now. Right now we're going to continue to put everything into the system. Okay, Sorry. just remember that this printer is, is missing a USB cord. Okay, the next one we're going to be putting in is the monitor. This is the all-in-one computer, the shuttle computer, which we uh, pretty much buy from shuttle bare bone and we kind of built everything in here from scratch. So, mm -hmm. we got the power cord, it's plugging in. All right, taking that piece out, lighting it in. Putting it in there, and now he's closing that in. Now, as you can see, that is how it's loaded in. He's gonna go ahead and okay. He's gonna put that little cord up there, little screw, lock it in place so it doesn't move around. Now, what we're showing you is the standard TS-200. This is the same TS-200 that we sell online for $1,800. It goes on retail for about $2,700. If you're a dealer of ours, um, you know how low you're paying for these, but you got to buy a minimum of 10. Make sure it's worth your while. So we want you guys to have the firepower to uh, utilize. So anyways, what's next? We're going to be loading up the flash, the strobe flash. Very easy. Once again, you got the cord, you got the flash. We've already, uh, we're going to go ahead and take that piece out right there. It's very simple. You can do that manually. You don't need a special tools to do that. We're not going to need, that. We we need that anymore. Yeah. Okay. We have the little piece of wood that's going to replace that. Everything that we're showing, showing you in here is nothing special. We're simplifying everything so that you can pretty much do it yourself. Okay, we're gonna put that in between there. And then that wood, that little piece of wood right there goes in the middle. Okay. Not in there. It's easy breezy. All right, screwing it in. All right, and there's your flash, okay? It's mounted in there, it's nice and secured. You can always tighten it when you're getting ready to load out. Now he's unwrapping the power cord. Cord. Power cord. He's getting ready to uh, plug it in. Okay, there's the plug for the power cord. It's gonna run through right there. So it's nice and clean, you know, just right, run it on, on behind it. Now we've seen some other uh, uh, customers and dealers that we have in here that really really does a nice job on um, on uh, uh, organizing their cords so uh, some can be a little bit more intricate than others they can be more uh, um, more organized than others but uh, that's entirely up to you on how you do it we're just so what we're showing you is how to set everything up so he's got the cord up there we can easily tie that cord up so it's nice and neat but for now we'll just leave it there the synchronized cord is gonna come in that, uh, behind that flash, he's gonna run it on the other side. There's another side, there's another hole on the other side, just to um, even it up, and then he's gonna, okay. The reason why he ran it in there is because right on the next side up here, this is where the hot shoe is gonna be uh, going. Okay, so we're gonna be putting in a camera now. Camera is next. Here's the Canon T3. 
He's grabbing the Canon T3, the power adapter, and the hot shoe. He's going to put it right there. This is your power adapter. That's your power adapter. Okay, goes this in there. To, you know, goes in there. All right. Just plug that in. Okay. Now, I'm going to zoom into this screw. It's very simple. You load it in there. You, you set it on top of that uh, um, that shelf that we create, what we built for you, and then you just twist this screw, which is just a standard quarter inch bolt, quarter inch bolt that just gets tightened. And then that wing nut right there, just you know, you just pull it back down. pin it, so it'll pull it back down. It'll force it to be pulled back down, which will keep your camera in place, nice and secured. And then you also have that uh, on the side, another wing nut to tighten everything up so that it doesn't move. Okay, it's perfect right there. So now you got that. Power adapter all secured up there. Now he's gonna be uh, plugging in the cord for the power adapter. Okay. Now, same thing, same thing. he's gonna run it on the side of that photo booth shell. Make it nice and clean. All right. Okay. And then the hot shoe, like I was saying earlier, it goes on top. Okay, and then the synchronized cord goes on the side. All right. So now we have pretty much everything. We got. We're gonna show you how uh, everything connects to the computer now with the USB. Okay. Because the the only thing that's missing right here. From what I can tell, it's the USB from the camera and the USB from the computer. And we're pretty much all set to uh, get the system started and, and see what um, this photo booth is all about. So, but generally what you're looking at is our standalone system. Uh, this is how it's gonna look like. I'm gonna open the door on the bottom portion of it so you can see. There's a little extra room in the bottom. Actually, that's a lot of room. You can put your media kits in there. You can backdrop curtains. Um, I don't know, your purse. There's a lot of room in there. And then uh, on, the, on the left side, you got the door. And then another door on the right side. As I mentioned, you know, you have that option. Two handles on each side. This is generally how it looks like. You got the 17 inch all in one computer with a camera right above it and a diffuser all right we got the USB cord for the printer and also for the camera so we're gonna be connecting that now he's connecting the USB for the printer he's gonna run it underneath getting ready to be connected on the computer all right it's just Coiling it up to make it look nice. Uh, I put in the bottom right corner. Bottom right corner is where he's inserting that USB. Okay? Okay. Obviously, you could insert that USB anywhere you want. Um, he just prefers to do it on there. There's four ports. So the other port can be for your uh, external um, DVD burner if you want. Or your, you know, trunk drive. This is for your camera. That's for the camera now. That's uh, connected on the side of the T3 camera. Right there, he's connecting it. And uh, that one goes to another USB port. Now well, we can run it in here. Remember, save them all on the same side, you know? Okay. Same thing, there's two USB ports in here. Mm -hmm. There's two USB port on the right bottom portion of that uh, all-in-one computer. Okay. So we're pretty much almost ready to go. We're now gonna look for the power strip and run it on the bottom all the way to the top. Okay, that is a small power strip. We may have to look for something uh, bigger, like uh, something with like five plugins. Yeah. We utilize that three, three power strip, three plug power strip 
when we're adding in a, an external flash, there's usually an external flash on some systems that we buy. Uh, you know, it just so happened that this uh, particular order is just for a standard standalone, nothing special, nothing major. So you'll technically only need one power strip with five plug-in ports. Where in this case, uh, I think three will get away with it. Right, Marlon? Uh, nope. Nope. One, yeah, so we need a minimum of four. We might as well get the, the, the larger power strip. I kind of want to turn everything on just to show everybody how, you know, how properly it's supposed to be set up. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and pause this and then uh, maybe continue on to the next segment when, every, when he gets back, okay? Hey, guys, welcome back. Right now, we found the power strip. Um, we're going to go ahead and take that little dinky power strip out, and we're going to put in the uh, five-port power strip. Uh, six. Oh, six. My mistake. Um, we're going to put a little Velcro on the back of this power strip just so that you know it has a little teeth to grab into the carpet. You know, the, you know, the internal, the whole internal of this photo booth is carpeted, which is the, which is the female version of the Velcro. So... There you go. So you just put it in that side. It'll just grab into there. Nice and neat. All right. Now that power strip is going to come down, but let's plug everything in. All right. You got that uh, flash that's plugged in. Yeah. And the next is the power adapter for the Canon. And then you got the computer shuttle all in one. And then uh, the, ca the printer that went up. Okay. And that's pretty much it for now. That's going to come down. All right, he's going to be grabbing that power cord. He's going to run it on the hole on the side. This way you can close the door. And nobody can see it. It's going to run right there. Gonna drop that thing right there. And uh, it's going to plug it in. Once again, guys, if you're ever interested in becoming a dealer, just contact us, and you'd be surprised how much we can sell you this shell. Um, believe me, it's uh, surprisingly cheap. Um, we do have a minimum order of 10. Okay, we're getting ready to go ahead and fire everything up. Um, but before we do that, I'd like to show you the LED. Um, can we put an LED in there? Because our LED is really, really bright. So there's one right there, and there's another one. On There's a total of two right there from that uh, shelf that I right there yeah. this LED is pretty special um, I always say you know what if, if you don't want the LED you can always get the floodlight from Home Depot it's cheaper but there's a reason why people buy our LED it's pretty bright it's great for video booth we sell it for you know a hundred each but uh, believe me, it's well worth it. You only need to buy it one time. You don't have to keep buying it. So it's got a clamp made strictly for our shelvings. It's gonna go to that second shelf. Second shelves, you just clamp it in there. Okay, is it plugged in? Okay. Okay, why don't you show them how bright that sucker is? Okay, Let's plug it in. Extra this is where the extra plug uh, for the power strip comes in. And we're going to go ahead and plug that uh, LED in. Yeah, this LED is pretty special. Look at how bright that thing is. That's just one that's plugged in. But he's going to plug in another one and face it towards my cell phone camera. And you can see how bright this thing is. Look at that, very nice. So that's basically what goes on uh, the video booth for the photo booth or just a regular photo booth for say, just in case you want something for your guests to see themselves, you know, it's just something brighter, but it, you know, costs a little bit more, um, but it's, you know, believe me, it's well worth it. So 
These lightings are all provided uh, by Chrono Lightings. We get it from Chrono Lightings. You can go to chronolightings.com and see all that uh, there. While we're waiting for uh, Marlon to uh, get plugged in, let me show you how everything is set up. It's not going to be as pretty, but uh, it's, it's there. So it's not yet organized, but usually if this is you setting everything up, you'll probably organize it a lot nicer than we are because we kind of put together systems at least 20 at a time. So, all right. Okay, it's plugged in. Okay. All right. We're gonna go ahead and fire everything up right now. Sure. Okay. Little note. Yep. Make sure the power is on. Make sure the power is on. On this side, camera. Let's double check. I'm gonna turn it on and off. Camera. Make sure it's plugged in. On and off. Monitor power. The monitor power is right on top, upper, right, on corner. upper right corner. You just push it. You'll know it's on because that little blue uh, LED on the bottom portion of that shuttle will li light up. I'm going down here. Going down. No. That printer has no power. You can tell because there's no light where he's pointing. He's going to go ahead and push that power right there. And you'll notice that the light will go on. All right. Okay. Now, we're, I'm going to go in the front. I'm going to take you in the front so you can see exactly how the template is all set up. All right? So you can see how bright this thing is. Now everything's loading up. Okay, this may take a few seconds, but it's there. All right. As you'll notice, you'll have our logo in there. And the 11-step process of how your uh, photo booth sh um, should be run. Okay, initially, since the driver is not installed, you'll get this. Okay. That means the driver is not connected. I'm gonna, it's already built in with the drivers inside, so you just have to double click on thumb drive, software, printers, oops. Uh, it's the this one is the DN the RX one. Install drivers. Okay, we're installing the drivers now. Okay. This Normally we have pretty much everything installed already, but uh, we're doing this as a procedure to show you how everything is set up and you know how to do it. In a nutshell, the tips and tricks on how to uh, set up your system. Um, we're basically what we're giving you is gold. Yeah. Okay. We're, we're showing you um, generally on how to do everything step one through Z so that... Um, just in case they want to buy their own shuttle and build their own computer. Right. Just in case you want to build your own computer. You know, you don't want to buy it from us. We're not stopping you to do that. All we want to do is just continue, you know, selling the shell. Um, you know, we make a few, you know, a few dollars on the shell. You can make the, the thousands on the system. All right. It says here complete. Just hit finish. You want to double check, make sure it's there. You want to double check to make sure it's there. Start. Device and printers. Device and printers. It's here. It's right there. You want to make sure it's the default printer. I'm going to right click on it and set as default. Okay. That printer, the DMP DS RX1, is now your default printer. Okay. I'm gonna hit, okay. So I'm going to follow this step. There are a total of 11 steps. You know what? I know already the graphics is not matching. But when you get this, it's already preset up to the right graphic resolution right normally Which when we build a system we always set it up already but in this case we're going to show it to you 800 by 600 is no, 1024 i mean 1024 by 768 is the correct setup so now we're setting everything up keep the change okay so that's it right there we're gonna... following the steps 
He's gonna double click on the DSLR. It's kind of a basic step, so we're just gonna go through it and you can go through it yourself. But if you go through the 11 steps, it's very, very simple. It goes as simple as double click on the DSLR remote. Step two would be click on file. Uh, step three, photo you know, boot settings. photo boot settings. And then step four, load. Double click on the blue screen template. Settings. Okay, the settings. Click preview. As you can see, it's a landscape. It's not matching the template. You, right. So it's always good to do a preview. Hit OK. And then hit OK again. And then go to file. Whenever you see that, go to file, go to printer setup. And then change the landscape. This one to PR 4x6. To PR 4x6. PR stands for portrait. You don't mess around with this. Just play with this. So if it's... And then properties now we need to set it to cut so we're gonna set it to cut so go to properties advance go to advance and then where it says two inch cut two inch cut excuse me enable it hit okay hit okay i'm gonna go back to the photo boot settings again photo boot settings setting custom layout settings we're gonna go to custom layout settings which we left where we left off i think it's number mm -hmm. um four and then I uh, hit preview, and then there it is. That's the template that we have loaded up there. And then hit OK. And save and it. And then save it. You want to resave it to uh, uh, set up the memory because. It's asking me if I want to save the setting, which is we set up the cut. Yes, yes. I want to keep it like that. I'm going to overwrite the old one. Overwrite the old one. Click Replace yes. Replace it, yes. Hit OK. And then now I'm going to. We're on here now. Turn on count number eight. Okay, we're on number eight. Turn on camera on and off to make sure that it's on and off. To make sure it's awake. Okay. If you heard that one, it basically give you the signal signals that the camera is on. Now we're gonna hit F9, which basically it's uh, a way to connect your camera to your computer. Hit yes. Let's set the camera to manual. Right now, as you can see, it's all grayed out because it's not in manual. Whenever you see that, you know, those bars all grayed out, you'll know right away it's not on manual. Okay. On the camera, what he did was he went on the back, changed the dial into manual. Because so you can see it's... Now you can see that uh, you can make those adjustments. Okay. I'm going to take a preview shot. Make sure it's too bright. As you can see, that's too bright. Control it with the ISO. Normally, I start with five, four hundred. Okay. Or two hundred. Or two hundred is fine. Still too bright. Still too bright. I'm gonna go one hundred. I'm gonna go one hundred. Still okay. too bright. There's an adjustment right here. It's, if it's still too bright. You can go to AV. Move the AV to eight. Okay. Perfect. That's perfect right there. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to File, Full Screen Photo Booth Mode. And that's pretty much it. As you can see, uh, I can see myself recording. And uh, we're going to go ahead and take pictures. Let's open the work. There's picture one. You got the um, preview taking picture two of four in three seconds. Now those are all um, modifiable. You can modify all of those, the text that's being written. These are all custom. Okay. You can set the, the time limit on the preview as well, which we'll show you right now in the photo boot settings just in case you're uh, interested to find out. Taking the last picture. Is the door open? Yep, right here. Okay, hang on. Can we show you? Um, okay, he's gonna open the door right now. Why don't we put the tray in there so that they know how it goes in. There is the tray. Catch it.
This is a standard template that one of our customers had asked to put in there. Obviously, you can customize this template any way you want it. Um, but um, that's pretty much it. Really high quality pictures. Everything's modifiable. You can edit the logo, the text, the date, color, the color, the design, everything. It's all editable. So anyways, why don't we hit escape? Um, if you tap on the upper right, there's an escape that nobody knows except us. It'll uh, escape the, fo the, the photo booth from full screen to a regular one. Let me show you how everything works on the Breeze software. If he goes to File and Photo Boot Settings, very, very simple. Okay, I'm going to zoom in here. Now, right here, right there. Let's see if this thing clears up. Okay, now that's better. It's pretty simple. Number of images, there's a total of four. You saw that when it was taking the pictures. Delay before taking first photo, seven seconds. Seven seconds meaning when they get in the first front of the pictures, they're standing on the, on the front. Uh, we're giving them like seven seconds to get themselves ready and prepared. Delay before taking remaining photos, that's the, the seconds in between the pictures that's being taken. Image preview time that is when the picture is taken the the preview we're giving them about two seconds to laugh about the pose and, and how the pictures look minimum time to display the processing screen that is three seconds when everything is all done the pictures are all completed uh it's telling the guests to you know to basically come out of the photo booth and take their pictures you know three seconds is enough for them to read that uh text that we wrote in there and then you got the standard, uh, you know, text display. Uh, everything is customizable. Uh, you can change the color of the text. Uh, that's fine. And then you got the enable live view in full screen mode. You want to have that thing checked. Disable live view when taking photo. You want to have that one checked. You want to keep the only display live view image for the first shot unchecked. You want to uh, go ahead and uh, quit. You want to... Um, Uncheck the show progress bar when preparing for printing because you don't need to see that. The mirror live image, you could check that if you want to make sure that everything is all in according to, you know, the live view. For instance, if you're standing on the right, if you if you check mirror live image, then on the photo booth, you'd be standing on the right also. But if you uncheck it, you're going to be standing on the on the left and your picture on the right, your live view will be on the left, on the opposite side, basically. That's right. You can try it. So we're gonna go ahead and check mirror live and we're gonna hit okay. And we're gonna go full screen photo booth mode. So as you can see, I'm on the left. Earlier I was on the right. So you, you can kind of see where you're going now. Yeah. It's like a mirror now. See, this is a mirror. Earlier it was the actual live view. So again, we're gonna tap into the right side, which is where we put, I'll show you where that thing is located, that little secret button that we put in there. We're going back to the file screen photo booth mode. Okay, going back to uh, um, this, by the way, this is all explained at breezessys.com. You can see, you can read through all of this, but we're explaining it to you briefly so it's, so it's quicker. You don't as have to read it. As far as uh, tech support. As far have, as tech support. We have a designated uh, website, which is thephotobootcity.com, if they want to go, you know. Right. Like Marlon said, as far as the tech support, um, we have a designated website that you can go to if you wanted to learn more, uh, quicker, easier. You can go to photoboothcity.com. We offer free templates for everybody that is a, a easy photo booth client. And, um, you know, you never have to do uh, templates. You know, why would you waste your time creating a design when we've pretty much done all the hard work for you? They're more than welcome to tell their customer to browse through the website. Right. The best way to do it is if you have a customer, you says, hey, you know what? Why don't you go to photobootcity.com, browse any template in there. If you like it, you just tell me what it is and we'll put your logo in there and your text and wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. You're done. So, um... We need to pull out the um, touchscreen okay. keyboard. We're going to go ahead and pull out the touchscreen keyboard. So hit start. Let's hit start. Program. Accessories. Accessories. Oops, I pressed the wrong one. All programs, accessories, and then ease of access. Ease of access. And then on-screen keyboard. On-screen keyboard. So there's your on-screen keyboard. Of course, you can do all of this by attaching your own external uh, 
keyboard and mouse. Yes. We, you know, we don't have that available right now at this point, but uh, you can put all of that on your, on your own later on. So what we're doing now is we're showing you photobootcity.com just to show you how it generally looks like. You know what? I can also go to, uh, let's see, easyphotoboots.com, right? Or you can go to our website at easyphotoboots. Shrink that, scroll down. Okay, right there where it says uh, photo booth templates, you just tap that. It'll take you to another window and it basically takes you to free templates on photobootcity.com. Okay. Now the way photobootcity.com works is uh, it is free, but you do have to email our admin for the, uh, for the code and uh, they will send you the code. We used to have everything for free where you don't have to email anybody, but uh, we found our websites uh, flooded and well, you know how it is when you have everything for free. Uh, a lot of people tend to take advantage of it and start downloading it. Next thing you know, you find it in somebody else's forum and they're selling it and you know, blah, 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 blah. And the problem just goes on. On photobootcity.com, you will also find a lot of uh, uh, support, tech support from other people tips who, tips. you know, like a forum, tips and tricks on, on how to do things. Like, for instance, one of the things that you'll find in there is um, people will say, oh, how do you double print? You know, the, you know, other people will say, oh, you know what, if you hit Control R, it'll automatically reprint. So those are just a few tips that you can find at photobootcity.com. Uh, there are other stuff that you can find in there, some, some other stuff that we may not even know because other people are po posting it in there. So it's a good way to interact with others and let other people know that, uh, you know, just uh, kind of share things, share knowledge. By the way, this is, as, you know, as you notice that this computer is Wi-Fi ready, so... The one good thing about this computer is once uh, every computer that we sell in here, we normally, uh, uh, well, we have it connected to our server. We utilize TeamViewer to access your computer. So no matter where you're at all over the world, we can access your computer to help you out. So for instance, if you're in you know, Canada or Australia or just in the United States and you're having issues with your, issues with your photo booth, you can easily text us, send us a message, send us an email and say, hey, what am I doing wrong? My camera is not working. We can easily log into our team viewers using our cell phone or our iPad or our you know, computer at home or wherever we're at and uh, see what your computer looks like and what it's doing. And we can automatically tell if your camera is not there. It's like having your computer right next to us. This is how generally how it looks like your photobootcity.com. You have a whole bunch of templates in here. Yeah, I know it says five dollars in there, but you couldn't even buy it if you, even if you tried. That's just our way of saying, whoop, stop, don't download without emailing us. Okay. okay. We also do an interface. We have interface to choose from right there. You can choose that. So you gotta register. Um, let the admin know that you know you're an easy photo booth customers and you know everything's in your fingertips okay going back in there we're gonna go ahead and shrink, shrink everything um, okay now um, I want to show you where the screen the touch screen part is okay on on the start options right here okay you have touch screen but you do have other options what I like the most is if you click on this drop down menu right here you have keyboard only uh, basically it'll ignore the mouse and the touch screen clicks you got the right click anywhere to start that's pretty simple you if you you choose that anywhere you touch on the on the screen it'll just activate it left click 
to start, right click to toggle between black and white mode. I choose that sometimes. I like it because I basically just use the mouse, take it wherever I go, and I never have to come close to my photo booth and I just use the mouse to activate the start buttons. But um, let me show you where this, the touch screen portion is, the touch screen and then the settings. Go ahead and uh, touch the settings. Okay, this is the uh, this is the the touch screen portions. There is so much you can do uh, with this uh, touch screen settings. I mean, that's the whole reason why it's the best. You know, once you get to know everything, you can do a lot of tricks into this photo booth that'll amaze your guests. But uh, if you touch on show touch screen areas. You'll see that uh, this is where everything is is uh, commanded. You got uh, you know select one on the left side. That's your black and white uh, mode. The middle is the start button. The right uh, is your select color mode. And then on the upper portion, which is kind of a secret or uh, hidden, is your uh, exit full screen photo booth mode. So that's why you see Marlon tapping on there. And there's no button, but it'll automatically exit out. So should you ever need to escape you just touch there okay and that concludes pretty much everything um the rest you can just give us a call read on it watch the youtube videos uh we have 24-hour tech support whichever you prefer it's your call um but uh this is pretty much it this is pretty much uh, the photo booth how it works how it generally comes in we have many many different designs uh to choose from we have three locations, getting ready to add four more locations. Um, this is how the TS200 photo booth looks like. What we have in here is also, we have a pink LED photo booth. While we're here, I might as well show it to you. Uh, this is the slim nine inch uh, pink LED photo booth. It's very nice. We have a white one, a green one, a black one. And we have the branding booth, the LED infinity photo booth. We have a red one in here. And uh, we also have clearance sales. I mean, right here we have clearance sales. We have a lot of photo booth in here for sales. Um, and the Slim Dorella designs that we have. Um, we also have unfinished Slim Dorella. So if you want uh, to save money, you know, you can do that yourself. It's very easy. We can show you how to do that. But this is our clearance sales. Um, let me take you down to the store really quick. We have a small little shop in here, a little store in the Chino uh, division. Um, we'll go ahead and open the door and, and kind of take you on a little small side uh, trip. Got a store in here. We have um, more photo booth in here. We have more photo booth in Chino, uh, in Diamond Bar. And we have more photo booth in Pomona and on Ontario, uh, California that is. Um, we got a yellow LED slim, uh, infinity LED, the box, uh, this particular one is getting ready to be picked up. Um, that's actually the next video we're going to be doing is for the box. Um, so we got the branding booth, pink, props, now we got props in here. We have more props coming, um, you know or prompts in there but um, it's our way of showing our local customers our support a lot of the times what our local customers go through is they always forget to buy enough media kit so they come in here on the weekends and uh, you know call us and say yeah, I need more media kits uh, my props I need more props I need more of a little bit of everything so you can, get, you can never get enough of uh, things we have props we sell for 99 cents each um, we also have, you know, um, what do you call that? Uh, scrapbooks, you know, five bucks, six bucks. So they're, you know, pretty inexpensive. We also have these little signs that we sell. Uh, don't really know how much it costs. I'm sure it's nothing. But uh, if you inquire about it, we'll let you know. We have LED, you know, signs that we bring down. Um, we used to have 30 of these guys right here. but.